What's up, guys? John here. And I'm Sharice. And we are back with another Cupid's Corner. So uh, every week we come at you guys. We want to tell you guys or help you guys out with some tips, tricks, or just some good information that might help your relationship, you know, go for that long distance marathon run mm -hmm. from beginning all the way to the end. So at that point, we want to help you guys out and uh, share some of the experiences or some of the things that maybe we went through or we've seen that could definitely benefit your relationship or set you guys up for success. <laughs> so uh, let's get into the topic at hand. And I think this is a pretty good topic. Um, I think it deals with, uh, you know, almost a good percentage of the population these days. Mm -hmm. I think so. At least half, for sure. Uh, because, you know, our, our United States of America is, is basically a melting pot. We have all these different cultures and stuff like that. So the topic is, is integrating or knowing the culture that you're marrying into or the relationship you're getting into, your, you know, your partner's culture. Because different cultures expect different things, especially maybe in gender roles, mm -hmm. right? Or what they expect. It's usually a big one, the it, gender roles. It's usually gender roles and stuff like that. And it just, like I said, it all depends on where you come from in the world uh, to expecting what your woman or your man should be doing for you, right? <laughs> yeah. It's a good one. It's a good one. So I'm Greek, you know, at that point, and we have our culture, and, and Greeks are pretty male dominant. Um, but, you know, we're free thinking and we're open, I, I think, these days. And I think it's it's a <laughs> lot more open as far as what goes on in the gender roles. Twelve years later. Okay. Gender yeah. roles, you know, th there should be, you know, some set boundaries or rules that you guys um, set forth in the beginning of the relationship mm -hmm. to kind of know what's expected from your partner mm -hmm. or what to expect of what's expected from you. You know, so you're not hit off guard or with the with a curveball hitting you right in the face. You're like, oh my god, what did I get myself into? Yeah, please make sure that you disclose this information because obviously it's your culture. And you know, for the other party, it'd be nice if you want to educate yourself on the culture, so that way you guys can talk about it again. Communication, we bring it up in every single episode, yep. so we're gonna bring it up in this one as well. Oh yeah, is communicating with each other. Oh, yeah. Um, you know, I'll tell you guys my experience since this was. You know, such a great experience for me. <laughs> but she didn't get that bad. It, oh, you kidding me? She didn't. He just doesn't remember. I remember. No, it, he doesn't. She, she didn't get that bad. No. You would have got it real bad, okay? Because my mother is not Greek by birth, right? So at that point, my dad was a little bit more open to the point because in my culture, usually Greeks marry Greeks. He was not open is. at all. So and we had we had fuming fights every day. For three years maybe four okay <laughs> that is reality i'm not even gonna sit here and sugarcoat it for you but you know when i got with john there's both hard-headed <laughs> we realized there are a lot of likes and so now we're friends um but <laughs> but you know obviously i wasn't greek um you know so nobody and john actually comes from up in chicago area i'm gonna call it but indiana where there is, they have like, literally it's, they have a like Greek town there, right? We have Greek communities everywhere, even here in Florida. Tarpon, Tarpon Springs. right, 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 right. But you I mean, know? they, you know, those Greek communities are pretty strong and pretty they tight. know each other. And, you know, obviously, like any other culture, it's not just Greeks, but everybody likes to gossip and talk. But, you know, as soon as we got together, you know, we, they're shortly thereafter, you know, decided to have a baby and get married very quickly. Um, so, you know, it just it was one of those things. We knew it was meant to be, and that's what we decided to do. But yeah. his family didn't quite go along with that. The mother, Mrs. Diane, she went along with it great, and me and her are, like, best friends. I love her. <laughs> that's always a good thing. That's always a good thing. Be friends with the mom. That might be another topic on a different day. But oh, <laughs> I definitely think that it was important, and me and John had to make a lot of different um the, the word i'm looking compromises. for compromises to meet in the middle you know because john when i very very first met him he definitely wanted i think at that time anyway um you know obviously somebody that would cook somebody that's going to clean um you know probably somebody the essentials uh, somebody you know uh, probably <laughs> somebody was going to want to stay home maybe um even take care of the house and that kind of thing he was like super super old school and he still is old school um, but unfortunately, uh, my particular position, you know, I worked two jobs and went to college. So, you know, my meals were usually McDonald's and 
you know, maybe Burger King or pizza. Yeah. And, uh, you know, it just, I just, that's what I did. I worked. I like to work. I like to work. I like to make money. I like to be successful. I like to feel like you good. Accomplish something, <laughs> yes. So, um, you know, it's just, that's where something we had to meet in the middle. So I'm like, okay, well, I guess I'm going to have to, you know, learn how to cook because I didn't know how to cook at the time. And uh, good old John over here taught me how to cook and make some steaks. That's right. If you guys need cooking less for your lady, go ahead and hit me up. <laughs> 1995 every month. I'll teach you. <laughs> so, you know, I had to learn how to cook. Obviously, I know how to clean. I didn't say I didn't like to clean, but, you know, I would obviously, you know, clean up the house. I wouldn't leave it as a total trash. Um, but, you know, it's, it's important that you're able to do that. And I had to overcome some obstacles here because, like I said, whether we want to agree to disagree, John's dad is Greek. And regardless if he married a Greek or not, he wanted John to marry a Greek. And he wanted, he wanted you to have a, you know, I think he wanted that for him, but that's not what was going to happen. And, you know, I think we were told by multiple people that it would never last and we weren't going to get very far. And, you know, they kind of put of like bad juju on us. Um, but, you know, 12 years later, we're here. And I'd love to share this on Facebook to everyone and tag them in it. <laughs> it's just funny. You know, it, I wouldn't even think about just the gender rules, right? Because... This could be, you know, let's say a, a totally wasp, a white Anglo-Saxon Protestant guy that's here in the, in the United States that thinks the exact same as me. He might be out in Tennessee, might be in Texas, might be just an alpha male that wants a subservient wife, um, you know, at that point. And, is, you know, he has his gender roles. He goes to work. You know, he, he takes care of the toilet for breaks and the sink or whatever, the manly things. Takes out the garbage and the woman, you know, she does. She raises the kids. She, uh, you know, she cleans the house. She makes sure, you know, her, her man is taken care of in all ways, shapes, or forms. So, I mean, I think that's just one portion. Now, the real thing you guys really got to take in consideration when you're going to get these different multicultural relationships, especially, you know, if they are like first generation or just coming over. Um, from another country at that point religion yeah so, i was just gonna bring that up religion's a yeah. big one original that's a big one with me too that is big um so even at that point like our son's greek orthodox you know sharice you know basically like that with me so you know that's one thing you might have to take in consideration you might have to convert over right you know and, and, you know with with greek orthodox and catholicism right it's almost the same thing christianity mm -hmm. to a certain degree so we've, we share the exact same morals ethics values as far as that goes we believe in god um and there are religions out there that are totally different right so where it's uh, you know of islam or um you know maybe jewish or mm -hmm. stuff like that it's just you know it's different things that they celebrate you know i don't know like one of our attorneys is, is half Jewish, half Italian, but he's Jewish, right? <laughs> so he, you know, he celebrates every Jewish holiday, and nothing against Jewish holidays. But when I need him on a Monday, I can't talk to him. Can't talk on the cell phone because of the holiday. I'm like, man, I got holidays. You be able to do what you want, but <laughs> it is what it is. So you know, but you know, if you're gonna marry into this mm -hmm. or you're gonna be in a relationship with this, you know, there's certain things that might come along with that. Mm -hmm. And you know, our favorite show we watch every Sunday or Monday, whatever it. it is, 90 Day Fiance. <laughs> I know, it's you great. Know, they're marrying these people <laughs> from different cultures and stuff like that. And there's this, this one right now where this chick's moving over to, you know, um, uh, like an Islamic country, basically. Oh, yeah. And she drinks and she does all this stuff. And She's from Miami. she doesn't want to con convert to Islam. And, you know, yeah. the parents over there are super, you know, I mean, it's super strict on that. Um, and, and, you know, they, they believe in certain things. And, and, you know, the guy wants her to convert over, convert over, convert over. You know, and forcing somebody to do that might not be a good way mm -hmm. for the relationship to start either um, when you're getting forced into this thing. It's another thing if somebody wants to, take that on right you know and at that point they agree with it like hey listen you know i really want to be a part of this i you know i love you and uh, you know i want to do this right and then that's that's why the right causes but in the beginning this these are main things you guys should be talking about right now we're not maybe on the first date but, <laughs> no. but you know so let me think i'm gonna convert today <laughs> yeah like you know you're gonna be my baby mama we're gonna marry him <laughs> in this church and you're gonna convert over our religion Wait, right i'm sorry what? got it uh excuse me you're gonna me. cook you're gonna clean you're gonna be quiet let's and do just, whatever i let's say let's just verify here okay you are paying for this dinner just want to make sure 
We'll start there. Well, <laughs> I mean, it should go like this then. At that point, <laughs> you know, those guys might say, "Well, I'll tell you what. Um, until you convert over, we're just gonna do we're gonna do the 50, Dutch 50, Dutch thing. 50, 50, and you're gonna 50. pay half, and I'm gonna pay half, and we'll just go like that." Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so, or, or you know, hey, listen, this is America. You're America. You're woman equal. You can pay for my meal this time. How's yeah. that? That make you feel good, <laughs> ladies. Feel uh, good. Just joking. <laughs> uh, but you know, these are different things that you're going to have to maybe encounter with with different cultures. And like I said, there's, you know, United States a melting pot. So people, you know, there's all different types of cultures, and, and they expect different things. So that's what you need to be prepared for when you're in a relationship. Um, not just how good the guy is, looks or whatever it is, but you're going to have to, if it's going to be serious, you're going to talk about some of these things down the road. Another thing is having kids. Mm -hmm. You know, some cultures, it is a must. To have you must have a one. child. Yeah. Right? Um, because if not, you're not passing on the name, you're not doing it, and you will get fried for it. Like, mm -hmm. if you don't have a son, per se, or a child that's going to bear on the name, um, then that's a deal breaker. Mm -hmm. You know, some people are like, and this was another one, 90 Fiance, you know, this chick doesn't want to have this African guy's baby. And when, she, before she got married over in Africa, at that point, the family asked her, hey, you're going to have this kid, right? And if you can't have the kid, you're going to let him do whatever he needs to do to have this kid. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Now they're married. It's like, oh, I'm not doing that. Oh, we should just be able to, you know, have our, our good years. And this guy's like, well, I, you know. I need this, This yeah. is, what, you know, this, this is something that I, I set forth in the beginning. You knew it was an expectation uh, of something. Now, if you can't have it physically and stuff like that, it's a whole different ball game, I guess. But. You know, these are things that it could be deal deal breakers in your relationship, or mm -hmm. and you don't want to come down the road after you've invested all this time, all this energy. You've gotten very close to somebody, very attached. At that point, you know, then it's going to be heartbreak and, and disappointment and all types of different things. Yeah, I mean, if you truly love that person, you will make sacrifices or meet each other at a halfway point where yeah. both of you guys are happy on whatever it might be. Yeah. Like, okay, well, I'll do this, you do that. Um, and then obviously overcoming some of the obstacles, whether, you know, even if the family, let's just say the family and friends don't like you, be not because you're a bad person or anything of that nature, but just because you may not be of that culture, yeah. then you just do what you have to do and treat your husband or wife yep. the best you possibly can. And then they can never say anything bad about you. Yep. They should definitely be with you. You guys should be able to talk to these things, and they should definitely have your back on some of these different issues. Yeah, so you right. guys can work through them. I mean, if you guys are arguing or, or bickering or you guys can't come to a compromise, you know, that might not be the relationship for you. Always have each other's back. Yeah. Always. Because, I mean, there's some people that they can't tell their parents no or this is not going to go down like this or whatever it is. You know, they get pressured in by their parents or by their culture. Mm -hmm. And trust me, I, I know those pressures. And so I know in these different, uh, these other cultures that it's probably even worse mm -hmm. than what I've had to go through. So at that point, don't give in to the pressure. Do what's right. Do what you think is going to make you happy mm -hmm. in the long run. Um, because nobody's going to live your life except for yourself. And mm -hmm. don't get yourself in a situation where you can't get out of either. Okay? <laughs> Or, or, you know, it's going to be difficult to get out of. So at that point, take this information we guys are giving, giving you guys. Uh, utilize it. Remember it. If you guys are just starting a date right now or you maybe you're in this kind of situation or going forward, this might be very helpful for you guys to talk about right away. Set the expectations. Set the boundaries. And know where you guys are going to go towards. Right? 100%. 100%. Yeah. If you love them, you'll make it work. Yep. Yeah. So this is just another tip. From me and Sharice on Cupid's Corner every Sunday, 11 a.m. on ABC, the Tight Medical Center Health and Lifestyle Show. Also, you guys can check us out on Facebook. Our YouTube has all these great videos, all these segments, and a lot, lot more. So if you guys <laughs> like this content, go there, subscribe, hit the all notifications button, and uh, get all our updates so you guys can be informed and tuned and get this great information we're putting out. I'm John. And I'm Sharice, and we will see you next Sunday. Bye, guys.